What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of Drive Talk Cars. In today's episode, we're going to be changing the battery on my E63 AMG. And no, it's not the battery that you're thinking about. It's this one. This is the auxiliary battery and I'll show you what it does and I'll show you how to change it. All right, so the auxiliary battery, what is it and why do you need it? So it's basically a backup battery or a secondary battery to your main starter battery, the big battery that you find in the hood or in the trunk of your car. So this battery prevents a lot of your internal electronic components from dropping when you start and stop your vehicle or the engine of your vehicle. Things like your GPS, your clock, your radio, and other non, I would say non-essential components of your car. In the Mercedes-Benz lineup, the W212, this battery can be found in several different locations. So I'm gonna show you the three locations that you can commonly find it, and then I'll show you where it is in my car and we'll replace it. Okay, so you may be wondering, why do I even need to replace my auxiliary battery or how I even know that I need to replace it? So on my car and on other Mercedes-Benz, there is a message like this, and that will indicate that there's something going on with your battery. Now, it may come on periodically. It may not be like a constant stay on, but if it starts to come on, go off, come on, go off pretty consistently, then that's a sign that your battery is starting to go bad. So if you start seeing that, then I would advise you to check your battery with your uh, voltmeter, if you have one, or your multimeter, and see what voltage you should have. It's a 12 volt battery. So if it's not getting 12 volts, then you know it's no good. So one of the three common spots that you can find the auxiliary battery is in the trunk. So the first place will be down in the trunk here. Uh, you have your battery and you'll have your auxiliary battery over here. As you can see, it's not the location for my auxiliary battery. The second place that it could be is under your floorboard here. It could be under here or you have a little pull back here that you can get and it might be up here or somewhere over in here but that's not my location either so let me show you where mine is all right so the third spot that it could be is behind the dashboard this is on the driver's side obviously and this is right when you open the door this panel here is revealed and this comes off with just using some uh, plastic pry tools and that way you don't damage anything and you can get it off so let's go ahead and pop that open and I'll show you how to replace the battery. All right, so using our pry tool, we're gonna to go ahead and pry this off and expose the opening. All right, just like that, comes off, nothing too fancy. So as you can see, we have clips that just clamp in there and that's what holds the plate in the position. All right, so remember, before you work with removing the auxiliary battery, you wanna disconnect your main battery. That way you don't have any electrical currents going through the car, and you can ensure that you don't electrocute yourself and get hurt while doing this. So we're just gonna remove the negative connection and set that to the side, and then we should be good to go. And if you don't know how to access your battery, I have a video on that. It'll be linked down in the description below. So we're just using a 10 millimeter socket and we're removing this one here, the negative. And it has this little cubby here. I don't know if that's what that's for, but it always fits just perfect right in there. So I'm assuming that's what it's for. You want to remember to take off the negative and not the positive. Because if you take off the positive, then you still have a live circuit going on and you can still get electrocuted if that touches something. So now that we have that disconnected, we can go ahead and move on to removing the auxiliary battery. So this is a good example of when the auxiliary battery would come in handy. You see, we disconnected the battery. So right now, to maintain the settings on the clock and any GPS stuff or radio or anything like that that's inside the car, it's running off of the secondary battery or the auxiliary battery. So that's just an example of the function of it and the purpose of it. So let's get to removing it and swap it out with the new one. All right, so once you move that panel, then you will go in this hole here and you can see the battery is right here on the side. First thing we're gonna have to do is remove this bolt here. It's a 
10 millimeter. This bolt holds the bracket in the inside of here that holds the battery. All right, so now we're gonna reach in here and you can feel the battery is off the bracket. All right, so now with the bracket off, we have to disconnect the positive and the negative connections to the battery and then we can slide it out. Hopefully through this hole. Might have to take out the bracket first and then slide it out here. Got the negative off and got the positive. Move those to the back there, the cables. Now, let's try to get it out. I don't know if it'll come out this hole with this bracket, so we can take it off the bracket, I believe. Yep, like that. And look at that, battery comes out. So we were able to get the battery out. All right, so using our voltmeter here, we are going to test the battery to see if it is good or not. So I have it set to volts and I have it on DC. So I'm gonna put negative to negative and positive to positive and let's see what we get. So it's reading 12.51, which would tell me that it is a good battery. Huh, that is interesting. Let's try the new battery here. Twelve point seven four. Twelve point five one. So this this is weaker and this could be the reason why I am not getting the message all the time. I'm just getting the message intermediately. So it comes on sometimes, sometimes it doesn't. So that could be the reason why I see that, because it's not that dead, but it's going bad. So we're gonna put the new one in and see if the message goes away. So this looks like the original battery. If it is, then it's been good for 11 years. So can't complain with that. Um, we're gonna go ahead and replace it with the new one and then start it up and make sure everything's okay. We have the new battery. Installation should be the same. You have these little terminal caps. You can take those off. We're gonna have to put this back onto the bracket. It went like this. So first let's get it in there. Then we can start turning it around. It's a shame this hole isn't bigger, but it's not. So I think I'm gonna plug them in first. So we're gonna do red to red. All right, that clicked. All right, so we have them both clipped in there now. We have it semi in the bracket. We just gotta get this little clamp over it. So if you can see, there's a little bracket there, holder that a little tension. So you have to press kind of hard on it so it can snap into there. There we go, I think we got it now. The battery is now in the harness. So there's a little clamp here. You have to press it in and that's what holds the battery in there. So now we're just gonna sit it up against here and then put the bolt back in there. All right, I think we got it. Put your bolt back in there. There we go, now we can use the other hand. And it's back in there. Tighten it up. Don't have to tighten it too tight, wrist tight. And then we're good money. Remember you unplug the battery, the main battery. So we have to plug that back up and then we'll check to make sure that everything is good to go. So we're just gonna put the negative back on the negative terminal. May hear stuff coming back on. All right, we don't have to over tighten it. So let's start the car up and see if we get any messages. All right, so everything looks good. Let's cycle through the messages here, see if there are any, no messages. Now, like I said, it was intermediate, so it wasn't every time I started the car that the message would be shown. So we're gonna check this throughout the week and see if we have any issues, but nevertheless, that's how you change your battery. As you can see there, the clock is wrong. That's one of the functions that the auxiliary battery maintains. So it says midnight, but it is not that. It is only 916. So that would just be one of the things that you may have to change, but everything else looks good.
All right, so there you have it. We successfully replaced the battery. We're gonna check it out and see how it goes over the next few days. But in the meantime, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up down below. Click that subscribe button, hit that bell. And I'll have a link to the battery in the description down below. That way you can get one with the part number and everything. If you want more videos like this, check out these videos here. And remember, do it until you can't. Until next time, I'm out.